Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm doing what I think is going to be the last day of stucco work on this structure. It's a beautiful day for it, nice and misty, uh, it's moist out, so it's great for concrete work. Uh, but when I got here this morning, because this stuff had been covered up, uh, it didn't get any of the mist from last night, and as you can see, it's pretty dry. It's a light color here, and I'm just wetting it down here, you can see it's dark. This is the first pass here, because you can see it's kind of rough, uh, and... I'm going to be putting the final pass on there. And whenever you're doing concrete work and you want two uh, sections to bond to each other really well, you want to pre-wet the area that you are trying to bond to. And the reason for that is that you don't want to be putting on the fresh concrete and then having the dry stuff like act like a sponge and draw the moisture out of the other, uh, you know, the new fresh wet concrete. Like I said in an earlier video, concrete doesn't uh, harden by drying, it hardens by curing, and the curing process is enabled by the idea that it has, you know, moisture and that allows it to go through the curing process. You want to keep the concrete moist, so you don't want old concrete to be drawing moisture out of your new concrete, which needs to cure. So I'm using this to uh, uh, kind of pour over it. I, I keep forgetting every single time I come here, I keep forgetting. I've got sprayers. Uh, in fact, I've got them in case of disease. <laughs> you know, you could put like a bleach solution in them to spray, you know, someone's clothes down. Uh, and they would also work great for water, but I keep forgetting them. Uh, but I've got plenty of water, so I can be kind of wasteful getting it up on there. And as long as I get it all, all moist, it's going to be fine. So the plan for today is to try to finish up the concrete work. If I have some time left later on, I think I might be doing some painting in the root cellar, get the walls white. Uh, and if it dries out later on today, I can do some carpentry work. But I don't want to be doing carpentry work if the wood's all wet because it's all swollen. And even if I get it nice and, uh, you know, flush together, when it, once it dries, there'll be cracks in the floorboard. So we'll see if it dries out uh, later on today. Uh, we didn't actually have rain, just a lot of mist, but we'll see. But step one, this wall right here. That's it. Thanks for watching.